Hi YouTube. How are you? It's Chanel again. Um, I'm gonna do the love tag this morning, and I got this tag from Love With Caution. I'll link her in the description so you can, uh, see. Um, anyway, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning, and that's why I don't have makeup on, and that's why my hair isn't done. That's why I look like this. I'm sorry. But, um, here we go. First question, is there someone you like at the moment? No. Have you ever given or been given roses? I've never given anybody roses, but I've gotten roses three times in my life, I think. I think I got a single rose sophomore year. Uh, roses for Valentine's Day, my senior year in high school, and Jordan sent me a dozen roses for our six month anniversary. Oh, they're gorgeous, they're pink roses. Number three, what is your favorite romance movie? I would have to go ahead and say either Titanic, typical, or probably Pearl Harbor. Like, I know that's a, a war movie, but, like, the relationship between Danny and the nurse, they do end up, you know, falling in love and having a kid, so... I thought that was really sweet. Like, Forrest Gump, that movie's the same way. It's, it's like a love movie, too. Number four, how many times can you honestly say you've been in love? Two times. Um, the reason why I say two is because, of course, at the time, while I'm dating the person, it felt like I loved them, but as I've gotten older and I look back at it, or as I've felt that same way for other people, it turns out there really wasn't love, and probably because I was early in high school or in middle school, I probably thought I was head over heels in love, but I wasn't. Do you believe everyone has a soulmate? I do. Like, the way I like to see it is there are, what, eight or nine billion people in the world is only one of you. So if you think about it, there really is a soulmate for everyone. You know what I mean? And with, with those odds, there's one of you, eight or nine billion people in the world. Probably more than that now. There are probably more than one person meant for you. Six. Do you think that you should be friends first? Um, yes and no. I say that because, yes, you should be friends because you want to figure out, like, if they have the qualities you would like in a boyfriend or girlfriend first. You know a little bit about them. You don't find out, like, they're a stalker or, like, crazy later, or they have a bunch of, they do a bunch of stuff that you don't like, you know about that ahead of time, and it helps too for, if there ever is a breakup later in the relationship, and you weren't friends before, chances are that you won't even be cool with them after that, because you don't know how to be friends with them, because you jumped right into the relationship. Then again, the last two guys I dated, we were friends less than a month, and I dated both of them for a year. So, it, it can work. I think it's good to at least know each other a little bit to see if you're compatible. Uh, seven. Have you ever had your heart broken too many times before? Like every other girl. Eight, what do you think about long-distance relationships? I, honestly, I think they can work. And the people that are, like, as I think once you're out of the high school level, you should be able to maintain a committed and long-distance relationship. And if you can't, you're probably immature. Like, I know that sounds jerky, but there should be no reason... You're, you know, 18, 19 years old, and you can't, you know, maintain a relationship. Like, if you're in California and he lives in, I don't know, Texas, you should be able to maintain that. And if you find that 
due to causes that you neither one of you can handle, then you two need to work that out personally. I really do think they can work, though. It just depends on the two people. If, Like I said, if you're a teenager and you can't be in a long-distance relationship, something's wrong with one of you. There should be no excuse for that. Uh, nine. Your thoughts on relationships. I think they're sweet. I think they're good with helping you get into, like I just mentioned, a actual serious committed relationship. Like, if you don't go through relationships, you, if you don't have your heart broken, if you don't learn what it takes to have a boyfriend or to be a good boyfriend or to be a good girlfriend, you're not going to know how to do that when you're... 20. You're not going to know how to do that later on in life. That's why I think it's good. Like the little piece of crap, like middle school and high school relationships, you need those experiences for later on in life. 10. Would you rather date someone five to six years older or five to six years younger? Definitely older. I refuse to date anybody younger than me. I dealt with that before. It's the maturity level. Like, I refuse to date anybody younger than me. And the fact that I'm 18, I don't want to go to jail. Just saying. <laughs> Have you ever seen a friend is more than a friend? Yes. A couple times before. But I never take action on it. Like, it's kind of cheesy to say. But I don't like dating really close friends. Because I feel like... I'm going to be messing up the friendship over a relationship that wasn't necessary. Because if you guys do break up or something, you guys probably won't be friends after that. Because it's going to be, like, tense. There's too much romantic tension, and I wouldn't risk that. Twelve. Do you believe in the statement, once a cheater, always a cheater? No. I'll explain why. Like, there are people who, like, naturally... They just, like, cheat. I don't know why, but they just mess around a lot. And, like, I think of it sort of like karma. Like, eventually, that cheater is going to meet the person that they fall... I, I, eventually, they're going to really, really fall in love, right? And I think what's going to happen is that person is going to cheat on them. Or they're going to break their heart. And then the cheater is going to be like, oh my gosh... I've been doing this half my life. I should probably stop cheating. I think a cheater will be a cheater, like I said, until they get serious and that person screws them over, like how they've been doing to so many other people, and they'll completely turn them around. Or even if the person doesn't cheat on them, I think if they seriously find the right person, and they fall in love in general, they'll stop at, because they don't want to risk losing that true person. 13. How many kids do you want to have? At this particular moment, I don't want any. But if I ever do become pregnant, I would like one boy. And that's it. I'm absolutely terrified of having girls. 14. Do you usually fall for the wrong boy or girl or the right boy or girl? Usually wrong. I know if it's me that's wrong or if it's them that's wrong, but it's usually wrong. 15. What's your favorite color? I don't see what this has to do with love at all, but whatever. My favorite color is purple. I don't see how that's relevant. <laughs> Um, 16. What are your views on gay marriage? Completely support it. 500%. I love gay people. I love gay marriage. I, they have my full support. Always. And if you know me, you know that. Um, have you ever broken someone's heart? I don't know if I truly have. To be, I hope not, to be honest. Like, I know how that feels. I really hope I haven't hurt anybody. If I have, and you for some reason are watching that, I really do apologize. I didn't mean to. Uh, 18. Imagine you're 79 and your spouse just died. Would you remarry? No. I'd probably be all depressed. 
and be one of those like old wives that dies like six months later. When the people are together for a really long time and one of you dies soon after, the other one, you probably die soon. Like of natural causes, not like you kill yourself or something, but they like those birds. The love birds, I mean. Where if one dies, they um the other one stops eating and then it eventually dies too. 19. At what age did you start noticing the opposite sex? Probably 13, like whatever 7th grade is, because that's when I had my first boyfriend. Probably 13, yeah. What songs do you want to hear at your wedding? Um, honestly... Probably something traditional like Le Aloha Le Makame. Like I said, I'm Hawaiian, so I probably want traditional Hawaiian songs like that. Or something by um, Celio and Capano. They're Hawaiian singers, of course. Anything, any type of island music or anything traditional. Uh, 21. Last question Does anybody like you? I don't know. I think so. I'm pretty... I, I know I'm loved. I don't know if I am liked. If you do like me, let me know. That'd make me really happy. Anyway, you guys, um, thank you for watching my video. Bye.